Hi guys, happy Thursday. Um, hope you guys are all well and that you're having a good week. I am popping on here because I am in the process of getting myself ready. I'm going into the office, the Finding Mastery studio, the podcast studio, because we, or Finding Mastery podcast, wanted to do a Valentine's special, which I think will be really nice and cool and it gives a different perspective into Mike's world. I'm not sure how I feel about it myself. Um, I feel like it's a nice thing to memorialize it. I feel like anytime you put something on camera, it's nice for your offspring. So it's great for Grayson. Um, but, you know, it always opens the door for chirpers. You know what I mean? And I feel like we're all just trying to do our best and to figure it out. And, you know, some people just like to chirp. <laughs> so, so I don't know how I feel about it. We'll just see how it goes and um, figure it out as we go. So hopefully it turns out to be cool and informational in a good way and inspiring in a good way that we are all just human and we are all just trying to find our path and do it well and graceful and, um, you know, and figure it out. So, so I am trying to figure out right now what I'm going to wear because it is cold out. It's wet. Um, I just did my hair and I just did my makeup and, um, you know, never knowing what the lighting is going to be. Sometimes I think, uh, I don't have enough makeup or it's too much, but I guess it's okay. And as of right now, I'm keeping my hair straight, but I'm concerned <laughs> because uh, with the humidity outside, just because of the rain, um, my hair gets real, real alpaca like fast. So, um, so right now I'm kind of done, but we'll just kind of see how I, when I get dressed, what it all, uh, flushes out to be. So I'm kind of feeling navy today. Um, I have these really cool pinstriped navy pants. Um, that I'm kind of feeling right now. I've not worn them yet. Um, I just got them back from the tailors. They're Alex Perry and they're really cute. They're big. Um, I'm probably going to be seated. So I don't want something too, too big. And then maybe a fitted, um, sweater up top. So I'm going to get dressed. I'll pop back on to show you guys what I decide. Um, and hopefully I look somewhat put together <laughs> um, because you never know, right? What, what you think you're going to look like in your head to what it looks like on camera or in a picture. Sometimes it's completely different. So um, let's see what it looks like. Okay, guys, this is the look. I'm wearing um, a lewd cashmere uh, turtleneck. It's really comfortable. The Alex Perry pants. And I did a black boot. So I think for the most part, oops, um, I feel like me. And that is the most important for me anyway, is no matter what, that I'm grounded in my feet and I feel like this is me and not playing a part of me, a version of me, but being me. So that's always really important. Plus, um, Grayson has a college counseling I guess seminar or informative meeting. I'm not sure what to call it, but that's tonight at school. So coming from the office, I can probably stay in the same outfit. And even though maybe it's a little dressed up for school, at least um, it'll be okay. So there it is. I wish I could get, I need it like up here and then back here. <laughs> I haven't figured out how to, um, work the situation here so that you see me lengthwise. I do have a full length mirror, um, but then like all this stuff pulls so much focus that I feel like it kind of defeats the purpose. So I need a better setup. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put on my jewelry, which I'm just gonna wear some studs in my ears and we're ready to go. So hope you guys like this special that we're doing. Um, I hope you guys go check out the Finding Mastery podcast. It is not my podcast. It's Mike's podcast, but um, there's a lot of great things in there. So I hope this one will be one too.
All right, you guys, have a good day. I'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, I am in the car. I'm driving into the office. Um, I wanted to pop on here because, so our office, the Finding Mastery office is in El Segundo and we share a building with Prop House. It's a Prop House for, and Costume House for, um, industry, Hollywood. And every time I go in there, like I totally geek out. I mean, I spent years um, in that business, you know, <laughs> basically if you're an actor, your job is to audition. <laughs> so that's basically what I did. Um, and so every time I go in there, I see costumes from a bunch of movies, TV shows. I totally geek out. I love it. It is like a hoarder's dream though, because there is no organization in there. I think what they hold, I think it's like an auction house now where maybe they, they rent props out, but I think for the most part, I think they sell it. I think it's on, um, on some website, but if I find anything cool when I walk in, I'll, uh, I'll put the camera on because there's some really cool, um, like memorabilia stuff that I just, I love to look at it and I just get lost in there. Mike doesn't like it so much because it is so crazy, which is funny because, well, how we live, I need it to be really organized and really clean and just not um, a mess. And then it's funny when he goes to his office and it's a total mess, he can't deal with it. But like I go there and I love it, probably because I don't have to live there and I don't have to organize it and I don't have to even think about it. Just look through the racks and racks and racks of just all the cool stuff, like I love it. So um, if I find anything, I'll, uh, I'll pop back on. All right, you guys. Hey guys, so I'm in the room that I told you about. Check this out, look at this. It's like a room full of, but I wanna show you something really cool because I did, this show back in, I don't know, I guess it was the 90s, but check this out. Oh yeah, and check this out. It's actually Lily James. So if you guys want a Baywatch bathing suit, <laughs> just joking. Anyways, I thought it was pretty cool. All right, talk to you guys soon. Hi guys, happy Saturday. Hope you guys are all well and having a great weekend and that you had a good week. Um, we did, lots going on, um, but it was fun and cool to do different things that you don't normally do. Today, I'm just home doing um, housework stuff. Like I needed to clean the house and I get nervous and in a bad mood when things are like unorganized and dirty and I just, I can't deal. So, so I'm doing that. Um, if you hear my washing machine, it backs up to my closet. Um, so sorry about that. If you hear like a thumping, um, but my house is like a loft. Um, literally, I only have two rooms and those are our bedrooms. Everything else is just open and in outdoor space, basically not outdoor, outdoor, but just outdoor in the house. So, um, so it, you can hear everything, which is great and not, I guess, <laughs> depends. Um, but yeah, so you may hear some, something, some murmur in the background and that's what that is. So. So I thought I'd pop on because I, so Grayson has um, a formal tonight, his winter formal. And so I was getting his clothes ready only because we had to get his pants hemmed and I had to go get him some pants actually because nothing fit him. Um, he's going to wear one of Mike's jackets that was too big on Mike that actually fits him, which is great. So, so we've been running around, but I was looking in my closet because in Grayson's school, the parents come together and it's a photo op and it's a chance for the parents just to get together, say hi, um, interact with the kids, which as a parent of a teenager and a teenage boy, um, I love that connection because, you know, especially with a boy, it gets less and less as they get older. So my goal in becoming a parent when I found out that I was having a boy was to always stay connected in a way where as he grows and our relationship evolves, it becomes less of mom son and more of, um, of course I'm always mom and he's always my son, but it becomes more of like a partner in life and 
a confidant and friend and of course parent, but you know, the relationship changes. They, he becomes a man and that entails for me to let him become a man. You know what I mean? So, so when these parent parties happen and tonight for, um, winter formal, like I love it just for Grayson, you know, I'm not a huge, um, socializer. So for me, the party isn't what's important. It really is just Grayson knowing that we've got his back. We're there for him and, um, we get to know his friends and we get to see them interact. And that to me is like priceless. So, so we're headed. So I was looking at like, what am I going to wear? Because it's freezing. It may rain. Um, we may dodge it. The rain may start tomorrow, but it's going to be outside. So it's really cold. So I was standing in my closet and I'm looking at all my stuff and I'm thinking, I don't have anything to wear, which is not true. Because if you look back, like I've got floor to ceiling clothes and everything, but isn't it crazy? Like with as much as we have, when we want to access something, it's like we, we have nothing, right? And it drives me bonkers because I don't know if that's me buying into like the fashion world or if it's just the mood that I'm in that I'm like, I'm just uninspired. Um, or if I really just don't have clothes, which I know that's not the case because we're always buying, right? And updating and, oh, you know, I need those pants and oh, they're flare this month and straight next month or whatever. But so I'm sitting here like, I cannot be the only one that thinks and feels that, right? It's like, we all think that we have nothing in our closet. <laughs> so, so how do we get through it? And how do we get on the other side where we're just not buying shit to buy shit because we get that high? And then three weeks later, we're like, we don't have any clothes in our closet. So I'm sitting here and I'm looking at everything and I'm trying to figure out like, how, how do you get through it? And I think the way to do it is to almost like shop your closet. So, you know, clearly we're not the lucky ones that just get sent clothes, right? I mean, by the way, if there's anybody out there that wants to send me clothes, I'm more than happy to take them. Um, but you know what I mean? Like we don't get sent clothes. So it's difficult to stay current with the clothes that we have because we wear them, we sweat in them, they go to the dry cleaners, they get old, like we get bored. Like a lot goes into thinking we don't have any clothes. But I think, I think if we approach our closets, like shopping our closet, that might change the way we think about our clothes. And then I would think, I think, well, this is how I kind of do it. I start with one piece of clothing and then build around that. So sometimes maybe it's a pair of shoes. Um, maybe this for this Saturday, it's the weather. So it's like, okay, I want to wear a jacket. So make that the statement piece and then keep everything else more, um, casual and casual, not in the sense of like, uh, sweats, but casual in that it's going to be cold. You want to utilize the jacket so that it serves you and you stay warm. And so then everything else underneath it can just be um, a little bit more simple. That's, that's kind of how I approach it. But sometimes it's, I want to wear a pair of boots and the pair of boots may be, oh, are sequin. I don't know. So then that will affect everything else that I wear. So I think if we approach it that way of like, okay, let me start to build. Let me start with one item and then go from there. I think we will have an easier time getting dressed and not thinking that we don't have anything in our closet. Because what I have found with me is that I kind of buy the same stuff. Like I'm redundant. Um, number one in color. Okay. My closet is black, gray, white, like with t-shirts and stuff. And then hints of camel, which those are like my coats. Um, and that's it basically. <laughs> so I buy the same stuff. You know, I wear the same t-shirts. Um, the same kind of sweaters or the, at least the same vibe of sweater. So, so it's like, how many of the same item can we have that then we say we don't have any clothes and then we want to buy more of the same shit that we already have. Does that make sense? I hope this makes because I'm just kind of thinking out loud, really. Um, so I think if we start with one item and then get dressed from there, it will make it a lot easier for us. Because 
it's constant. I'm like, I have nothing in my clothes, nothing in my closet. And then Mike comes in and he's like, are you for real? Like, are you for real? Um, anyway, so that was my thought. And I thought, you know what? I'll pop on here and have a conversation with myself <laughs> about how to get dressed <laughs> and how to get through the feeling that I don't have any other clothes to wear. Um, on a side note, I wanted to show you. So I wear, um, eyebrow serum. Do you guys hear the knocking? Hopefully you don't hear it too loud. Um, I wear a brow serum. The serum that I have been wearing for months and months and months is Revita Lash, Revita Brow. There's something in there that the state of California has banned. So we could only get the brow. We could not get the Revita Lash. And I think now we can't even get the Revita Brow. And it probably has something to do with money because you can have it shipped to any other state. You just can't have it shipped here to California. So, but I got past it because I would order online from different vendors that were from out of state, probably didn't know our regulations here, and I would always get it sent to me. So I kind of always bypassed it. But now they're, I think, um, they're savvy to it because now I can't get it. Every time I go to put an order in, if it's Nordstrom, if it's Derma Store, if it's, I don't know, someplace else, I always get the prompt like, we don't deliver to your area. So so I'm, I haven't been able to get it. So I've gone back to Grande Brow, which is along the same lines. It's... Um, like the medicated, it's not a natural brow serum. So I'm going to go back to it and try it. But I think, I think these are really good. And if for any other reason, just to condition your eyebrows to allow for the growth to happen, I think is important because as we get older, I've definitely noticed my eyebrows getting thinner. And, you know, I mean, I plucked my eyebrows to holy hell in the nineties. Um, I've always had thicker eyebrows, so it really didn't make that big of a difference, but they're, they were definitely way too thin for me. And now I'm paying for it because now they just don't grow the way they used to grow. So, so I wanted to show you what I'm buying these days for my brow. And I think, um, and I used to use this, so I know it does work, but I felt like the Revita brow was better. Um, but I don't know. I'm going back to the, all right, guys. Um, hope you guys are all well. I just thought I'd pop on here and just talk my thoughts because that's what I've been having. And when I'm cleaning and I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, I should, I should talk about that. I don't know. All right, you guys, hope you all are well. Hope the weekend goes great. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow, Sunday. It's supposed to rain and I am looking forward to being in my house. It's clean, watching movies, staying under a blanket and just um, recuperating, you know, just trying to, um, regenerate. So hope you guys do the same. Have a great Sunday and we'll talk soon. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Talk to you soon.